Hi Scorpio, this is Dane and I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day reading for you. Now I ask that you guys give this reading a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out and you're building this tiny, tiny channel into something big and something beautiful. So thank you so much for your support. Whether you are new or old to this channel, you mean the world to me. And if you would like to book, yeah, there we go. If you would like to book a private reading, all that information will be in the description box below. And if you would like to donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. What February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2019 has in store for you. Scorpio, February 14th, 2019. Scorpio, February 14th, 2019, Valentine's Day. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly. Scorpio, February 14th, 2019, Valentine's Day. Scorpio, February 14th, 2019, Valentine's Day. Scorpio, February 14th, 2019, Valentine's Day. Scorpio. Oh, fantastic. Okay, those are the cards that fell out, so those are the cards that Spirit wants you to see. Okay, the Five of Cups. Kind of looking here at regrets and not looking at the love that's behind you. There is love coming. Okay, you're walking away from a heartbreak and a pain, Scorpio. And then you're embracing passion. There's a new beginning coming. A fire sign energy in Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. There's a choice that has to be made. You're moving forward in strength. Definitely a Leo energy here. Twin flame energy. Very much so. Again, the repeat of the number two. So this is communication. This is creativity. This is two people coming together, but this is also you making a choice. You needing to, you know, make a choice for your prosperity, feeling kind of off balance. Oh, you have the Hierophant. This is tradition. This is moving forward in your tradition. This is stability. This also represents a Taurus energy. And you have the star card representing an Aquarius, but also representing that you get what you wish for. You have your soul's wish moving you forward, helping you embrace what it is that you want. And this is this is actually really beautiful because you are cleansing this Valentine's Day, okay? You are kind of, you're walking away from a lot of bull. You are walking away from a lot in love that doesn't suit you anymore, that you do not want, you do not need, and you, <coughs> excuse me, are being very, very true to yourself. This is something that's absolutely amazing. As much as you have this fire sign energy around you, leaning more towards a Leo, this is actually also you being a go-getter. Now, you might have had your heart broken by a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Again, leaning more towards a Leo here. But this is also you saying, I'm not being held down. I am not being, you know, set back. I am moving forward in my truth, in my prosperity, and nothing, excuse me for just one moment, <clears throat> Thank you, sorry for that. And nothing is going to stop you. Absolutely nothing, Scorpio. So you start off with the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is pain and sorrow, okay? And why I say pain is because you're looking at betrayals, you're looking at hurts, you're looking at regrets. Now, whether you are in a relationship, whether you are looking for love, or whether you are just enjoying February the 14th, you know, and it's, you are not celebrating Valentine's Day at all. You're looking at things and you're going to have this feeling. Now, it could be for a moment during this day. It could be, you know, for longer, where you're looking at things and you're saying, how do I move forward? How do I get past this doubt, this fear? How do I embrace what it is that I want? And so you're stepping back and you are looking at all the regrets that you have. Everything that you haven't achieved, every way that you haven't moved forward in the direction that you wanted to be, and you're looking at things and you're saying, you know, wow, <clears throat> am I ever going to be where it is that I want to be? And the answer is absolutely, positively, without a doubt, yes. And you may say, Dane, how do you say that? You know, you have the Two of Pentacles here. You have the Two of Swords. You have the Eight of Cups. This card can be seen as a divorce card. This card can be seen as everything falling down around me. Yes, it can. All right? But... 
that's not how I'm seeing it here. I'm not seeing it as if everything is falling down around you on the 14th. I see it as you have been through a lot. All right. You have had pain. You have had suffering. And now it's time to turn around because absolutely healing, beautiful love is waiting for you. If you keep on looking here, if you keep on looking at the disappointments, the failures, the relationships that went wrong, the fact that your partner hasn't, you know, made a big deal out of Valentine's Day or, you know, maybe you two got into a row of some sorts. This is saying here, stop for a moment. Just stop. Because you turn around and you're going to see love that's surrounding you. It's healing, beautiful love. It's absolutely the love of the angels coming to you and moving you forward. Helping you embrace what it is that you want and where it is that you're going. So this is saying that for Valentine's Day, or actually the time before Valentine's Day, you're going to have a lot of doubts and fears come up. This is because somebody's kind of sending bad mojo your way. Now, I'm leaning towards... A Leo, but I'm also leaning towards somebody who, a Leo, a, a Taurus here, somebody who is very strong, very powerful, very much has a sense of command to them. And now you're sitting there looking at things and you're saying, you know, I have this endless prosperity, but why don't I feel prosperous? Why am I looking at everything that I'm regretting instead of celebrating this time of love? So what you're doing here is you're keeping your feet firmly planted on the ground you're moving past these emotions that are kind of that are kind of all over the place. And you're saying, I'm embracing my truth and I'm embracing my prosperity. You have endless prosperity. This is why the person is kind of wishing you ill. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is why they, they want to see you fall. But you're not going to fall. You are absolutely not Scorpio. You are moving forward in your truth. You are moving forward in your prosperity. And you are letting nothing stand in your way. This is all about relationships. The fact that you have two cups standing behind you. The fact that you have two pentacles. The fact that you have two swords. All right? Love coming twice. Prosperity coming twice. Remember, true love worth its weight in gold. Okay? A choice to make. Knowing within your mind that you are moving in the right direction. That you are going to have stability, security. And that's what you're embracing during this Valentine's Day. Is you're actually moving away from the nonsense. And you're saying, you know what? I don't have time for this anymore. Because you really don't, Scorpio. You want a beautiful, lovely love within your life, and that's how you're moving forward. You're closing the door on really just a lot of nonsense, on a sense of pain, a sense of suffering, a sense of not being loved the way that you should have been loved in the past. Now you're moving forward into your present. You're following your wisdom. You're embracing what it is that you want within your life. And it's actually taken tremendous courage to say, you know what, I'm, stop I'm stopping this cycle. And you're moving forward. And the love that you have is not a love that you expected. And I know that that sounds funny, but when I see the strength card, this is passion, okay? You have so much passion here that it is beautiful. You have the, the strength card, you have the king of wands. This is passion leading you forward. This is, you have the two of wands here. You have this twin flame love guiding you to where it is that you want to be. Okay, so two, two, and I forgot this two right here. This is huge, all right? You have passion, you have all of the minor arcana elements represented here in your reading, saying that this is a pair, this is a couple that you are moving forward in. You are moving forward in love. You're moving forward in prosperity. You're moving forward in passion, and you're moving forward in knowing your mind together, both of you being on the same page. This is a unlikely pairing. This is a passionate pairing. All right. This could also be that you have been hurt by a Leo in the past. So it doesn't have to be that this person is a Leo. All right, so this is somebody who has Leo energy to them, somebody very determined, very much, you know, focused on their goals, very prosperity oriented, okay? So you're looking at things now and you're kind of taking on that ferocity of energy. You're taking on the passion that you want to lead you forward. You're taking on the bounty that you want to guide you. And Scorpio, this is how you are celebrating Valentine's Day with absolute passion guiding you forward, knowing that your greatest strength is in your compassion, your greatest strength is in your emotional ability to relate to other people and to open up your heart. And you are absolutely moving forward in that passion, in that beauty. And you're leaving behind the nonsense here that just doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. And it's taken a lot to be able to walk away because you are seeing now that you have this endless prosperity. 
And this doesn't have to be past breakups or anything like that. This can also be, you know, people in your life that make it so that instead of celebrating love, you wind up questioning love. The King of Wands, a fire sign energy. An Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. This is passion, right? This is being with somebody who is passionate, who is, you know, just kind of sweeps you off your feet. And this is also embracing that passion, moving forward in that sensuality. There's a sense of sensuality absolutely surrounding you for this Valentine's Day. And I know you say, oh, this is a king. You know, kings can be sensual too. But this is also a courage, a, an absolute, you know, a surety of self. Not a, not, a, not a cockiness, not a, you know, this is you knowing your desire. You knowing how it is that you want to move forward. You seeing that bit of divinity within you, that God's head that's buried within you, and using that to harness your personal power. You could even say your personal magic, and I don't mean hocus pocus, I mean it as confidence. I mean it as, you know, competence of self. You are transforming. And for this Valentine's Day, you are going to feel that transformation come about. You're going to feel yourself moving towards what you desire, moving towards what it is that you want. And then you have the two of wands. You're looking not only at today, but you're working, looking at the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come. This is twin flame energy. This is energy that is loving, okay? This is a soulmate connection. This is deeper than a soulmate connection that is coming your way. And even if you're not interested in finding love, this is you embracing this passion, walking away from kind of despair and saying here, I am looking at my future and I am moving forward in ferocity of spirit. Because you're looking here, now whether this be at what it is that you love doing or love falling in love itself or being with your partner, you are moving forward in absolute determination. Some of you are walking away from a bad relationship. And so Valentine's Day, you might actually not be feeling Valentine's Day as much as other people are. But this is beautiful passion leading you forward. And you might say, you know what, there's no sensuality to me. I, I'm done with this. That, but there is. But there is. Don't give up on you. Absolutely don't, Scorpio. You are moving forward in passion. You are moving forward in transformation. You are moving forward in your desire to have the life that you want and to have the love that you want. Your next cards are, your, well, your clarifying cards are the Two of Swords, the Hierophant, and the star card. The two of swords is you have to make a choice. Now it's interesting because your choice is between kind of following your traditions, knowing that the keys of the kingdom are yours, knowing that your hard work, your perseverance is paying off, and also knowing that you are getting what your heart desires. And you're saying, you know, how is that a choice, Dane? Well, it is a choice because it is a choice to realize that you can walk both paths, that you can have the committed relationship that you want that this is a time of you choosing to, to absolutely embrace your truth, absolutely embrace your prosperity, absolutely embrace your love, and that you are getting your soul's desire as you move forward. This also represents a Taurus and an Aquarius. Some of you could actually be choosing between a Taurus and an Aquarius to be in a relationship with, or somebody who's very down to earth, very, you know, kind of stubborn, and in a good way, just very, very determined. And then the star, the Aquarius here, who is more, more easygoing, more loving, more compassionate, more about embracing wisdom, but can also be a little bit aloof, right? Those could be the two people that you are choosing between. Now this is going to be different, of course, for each and every Scorpio who is listening, but you have a choice. And this is a choice to embrace your Embrace your orthodoxy, and that isn't a religion, that is what your soul wants. And this is saying here to be true to your soul for this Valentine's Day, because you're getting your heart's desire. You're getting what it is that you wish for, Scorpio. Okay, now, you are walking away with strength from regrets. You're embracing you're looking at the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come. You're looking at what it is that you want, not only in the long run, but for right now. 
and you're going to feel a bit off balance. You're going to feel a bit as if, you know, people are still wishing you ill. And that's because some people are, and some people will always be, you know, especially in today's world, we have people who just don't like us. I mean, you know, don't like you for the way you speak, the way you look, the fact that you looked at them funny. I mean, it does. people don't need a reason anymore. So know that that is always going to be the case. But here, for Valentine's Day, you are moving forward knowing what it is that you desire, looking at the future, and embracing your passion. This is you saying, and this doesn't have to be looking at your future, this is embracing the passion also between two people, and saying, yes, this is what I want. I want to move forward in passion. I want to move forward in beauty. And all this nonsense up here, because it goes in a cycle here. All this nonsense up here, you're saying, you know what, I'm done, I'm walking away. I have regrets, everybody has regrets. But I'm looking at love, I'm not focusing on this. People want to see you fail, you are rising to be a king. People want to see you not be in love, that's their problem. You are rising up, you're embracing love, you're embracing passion, you have a choice to make, to follow your truth and to know that your soul's wish is coming. Your subconscious message, the Six of Cups. I mean, I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups. Visualize, visualize, visualize. And this is also a transformation to the love that you want. This is a sense of friendship around this Valentine's Day for you. Not that you won't be having a passionate relationship, because you definitely will be. I mean, look at this. But there's a sense of a, a deep soul connection with the person that you are with. And so if you're not feeling that deep soul connection with somebody, and I know this sounds funny, you know, don't waste your time on them. Scorpio, you're moving forward in your truth. You're moving forward in your abundance. The partner that you are with is going to be somebody who builds you up, who stands with you through storms, who, who allows you. And I know that it sounds funny to say allows you to make your choices, but there are so many people where you say, oh, I'm going to make this choice, and they are just such nonsense about it. I mean, they really are. They, they say, oh, okay, you make your choice, and then you make your choice, and then they try to talk you out of it, or they give their opinion. No, you are transforming and moving towards what it is that you love and want most. So Valentine's Day for you, the energy of love that's around you, the energy that you are embracing is one of passion, one of transformation, and one of turning away from negativity to positivity, and absolutely going after what you want, and knowing that your soul's wish is coming true. All right, Scorpio, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Happy Valentine's Day to each and every one of you. I'm sending my love to you always. Bye.